And we're back. Yeah, remember how I just said we were going to probably have to split this video from one gigantic recording? Oh uh, yeah, that didn't exactly pan out, because no sooner did I say that, really, the game crashed on me during the boss of this particular stage. Just my luck. So, uh, I've made the... I've taken the precaution of sh shutting down my screensaver this time, because apparently that seems to be what crashed it. I forgot to turn the darn thing off when I started this, and what do you know, it comes on during the boss of this, partic of this particular stage I'm on right now. It was not fun, because I had a good run going, and as you'll notice down by my extra lives on the, other, on the right side of the menu here, I had to die getting back to where I was now. So I'm not thrilled, and I just messed up the jump there, there we go, yeah. Um, now let's just give it to Reincarnation Ghost. Okay, now that we're past the previous stage and Yukari's been dealt with, the game's pretty much smooth sailing. Right here's the other spot where you need Magic Broom. It's over and done with, the checkpoint is coming up right past this. Most of the pieces of tra most of the trauma from Mega Man from the older Mega Man games should be gone. Even these block even the disappearing blocks shouldn't really scare us anymore, right? There's only one thing left to haunt us, really, and I jumped way too early there. This is probably the trickiest block pattern in the whole game, which really doesn't say much, considering how sadistic these block patterns can be. Iceman was harder than that. Uh, let's see. Might as well put, put what's coming up next back in the magic room. Second thought, I should probably destroy this first. Say no, nothing particularly evil in any of these oncoming traps. These these are the kind of walls that would be destroyed with Grayson's weapon. I'm full on weapon. I'm full on my tanks, so I can't really pick pick any of those up, and I don't really need the help. I don't know why I had trouble hitting a P on that there. Might as well put that back into Black Lotus. Yeah. That's another somewhat mean trap, but you don't really need Black Lotus to be able to see it, because you can tell by where the fuzzies are walking. You should all probably remember that from Mega Man 2, hopefully, anyway. Oh, stupid bunny got in the way. Um, um, as I was saying, you probably remember that from Mega Man 2 having to use bu the bubble lead in order to get by. Oof, thought I wasn't going to make that. That's actually a pretty trick mean jump. <sighs> the wall got in the way. I'm going to get shot. It's okay, though. Stage is almost over. Watch out for that. There we go. I knew that was coming. Some weird little scrolling problem there. That wasn't my recording messing up or anything like that. The game just kind of scrolls up that panel weird. We're right at the boss up this next ladder, and I think you should all find it. You should all find this boss to be particularly familiar, and I'm quite sure many of us were traumatized by it as well. This screen should be the tip-off. Yeah, there we go. It's the Yellow Devil, except this time it's in the shape of Suica. The final boss from Immaterial and Missing Power. Except, unlike the Yellow Devil, this uh, Suica has far more attacks, this being one of them. Okay, there we go, there we go. Aha! Got through that in one piece. That's a hard pattern, movement pattern to dodge. Wow, I'm doing excellently, I'm doing excellent this run. The Reincarnation Ghost is the real weapon to slaughter her with. And you're going to see why. You can pretty much kill her in two passes. Oop, uh, I got sloppy. That's why. You can kill her in two passes with Reincarnation Ghost. If you don't have that yin yang orb works equally well. I did not get to show off a lot of her other attacks, actually, because... Well, I killed her too fast. After Yukari, this week is a breath of fresh air.
Alright, next stage. Interesting we'll take this game does right now. This is go this next stage is going to be a large homage to Super Marissa Land, a previous game created by Twa by Tassifro. This music is a throwback to it and the whole stage design will be too. We'll see that next time, because like I said, this is going to be where I I'm cutting off the video. So, see you soon. And 